Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today as I get some of the things crossed off my to-do list. This video is part one of two videos that I will be posting of an October 2020 clean with me. In this video, we will be cleaning the main floor of my house, as well as making a quick lunch and setting up a tea and coffee station. Get your diffuser going and grab your favorite cleaners to use for fall. I'm diffusing Maple Swirl and using the Acorn Spice Multi-Surface Spray and Dish Soap Set by Mrs. Myers. Let's begin! To prepare for our coffee and tea station revamp, I'm going to descale the teapot by boiling white vinegar and water. It works every time. I'm going to give this sink a good scrub using some Purple Fabuloso, Mrs. Meyer's Surface Scrub, and a scrubby brush from the Dollar Tree. About every three months, we refresh our Keurig pot by removing any mineral buildup. Jose is using the Keurig brand descaling solution, and he is just running that through both the coffee pot brewer and the single serve brewer. I appreciate tea, but ultimately I am team coffee all the way. Let me know down in the comments below, are you team tea or team coffee?
Princess Peach is going to help me prepare the living room for a vacuuming. She likes to watch me whiz around the house, but once the vacuum is pulled out, she's out of there. Since she was in her castle tower, I just relocated her to a different room so I wouldn't feel guilty about it. That's enough cleaning for now. Let's go design our autumnal coffee and tea station. Everything I used for this hot drinks tiered tray was just stuff I already had at home, starting with this pretty terracotta style flat bowl that we actually found at Goodwill a long time ago. This clear tier is a part of a set of three, but I'm just using one. They were from Ross. I'm using this green pumpkin jar from Walmart as a tea bag wrapper trash can. Some decorative pumpkins. The orange I believe is from Dollar Tree and the green one is a candle topper from Bath & Body Works. To go with our hot drinks, we love to eat Velveeta biscuits either for breakfast or as snacks. I find the cranberry orange and pumpkin spice the most fall themed. I haven't placed an order in a really long time, but I like to buy coffee syrups and sauces right off the Tarani website. The flavors I'm featuring for this fall themed coffee and tea station are classic caramel syrup and pumpkin pie sauce. Not only are these good in tea and coffee, but also hot apple cider. Of course, we also need honey for the tea especially. Now to feature a few select drink options, I'm going to fill a tin that will stay on the counter. We have a lot of drinks stashed away in the drawer right underneath the station, but it's nice to have options narrowed down sometimes. We have some seasonal teas, some pumpkin cider packets, And don't forget the Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Coffee K-Cups. Any Harry Potter fans watching? I got this pumpkin juice tin before Hastings went out of business in the Harry Potter section. To tie it all together, I have a jar for spoons that I want to give a festive twist, so I collected acorns from the yard and gave them a wash before pouring them into a mason jar. And there we have it. Now that this tea and coffee station is more fall inspired, I'm going to want to use it every day. Last stop is lunchtime. Did you know that October 4th was National Taco Day? We celebrated with some shrimp tacos. This meal is recipe-less and super quick to make.
In the white bowl, I'm seasoning the shrimp with a mixture of olive oil, lime juice, and cilantro besides the honey, salt, pepper, and Mrs. Dash. To assemble, I warm up tortillas on the stove, sometimes melt a little cheese on there if I feel like it, add shrimp, cabbage slaw, queso fresco, and our favorite hot sauce, Valentina. If you missed National Taco Day, that's okay. Go make some tacos for dinner tonight and no one will know. I want to take a moment to remind you that if you like these kind of videos, you should click the subscribe button because I plan on making more and I don't want you to miss it. I hope this video inspired you to go have a productive day or at least to go make yourself a cozy hot drink inspired by the flavors of fall. Stay tuned because I'll be posting a part two video where I clean the downstairs and show off my curbside pickup grocery haul. See you then, bye.